How did yesterday feel for you? It felt great just to be back on the court, um, playing in the most important time of basketball, which you prepare for your entire life. Um, just trying to have fun, embrace it. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. Do you remember the last time that you guys played Syracuse in the tournament? It was your freshman year. What do you remember about that game? I remember it was very physical. Um, I think they played a zone the entire time, and I remember coach wasn't there, CD was coaching, and then the whole bubble experience. Um, Camila Cardozo was still at Syracuse. Um, but yeah, it was an up and down game, very physical um, and very competitive. Are you expecting the same from them come tomorrow? Yeah, um, very competitive, very physical. Um, I feel like they'll play a lot of zone. They're a zone heavy team. Um, but then they got Deja Fair, who's a great scorer, um, who wasn't there previously. Um, but yeah, definitely competitive, definitely physical. Coming into the tournament, I know Coach and some of your teammates, upperclassmen, were talking about how the freshmen would adjust to the tournament. Ash had a really big game yesterday. KK also produced as well. How did it feel seeing the freshmen step up? And I know you've been seeing them do this all season, but especially under the big lights. Yeah, it's huge just to create that confidence that they can do this on the biggest stage um, and just continue to do what they've been doing the entire season. Like, we have the most confidence in them so to start off the tournament like that was huge for them individually but for us as a team um, everybody knows we need our freshmen um, to keep going in this tournament so to start it off like that was awesome you don't turn the ball over oh, anymore nice. you don't <laughs> you don't <laughs> sorry I'm not trying to jinx it uh, but your efficiency has just been at a high level how have you been able to do that? Is that something that you're consciously thinking of? Obviously, you don't want to turn the ball over, but to be able to produce at the level you're doing without doing that is pretty remarkable. I hate turnovers. They they make me so angry because I know it's something I can control and something that it, if it does happen, it's definitely my fault and I can control it. But just trying to take care of the ball, get great shots. Um, turnovers can win or lose you a game. Um, so just trying to focus in on that. Um, and set the example of how to take care of the ball uh, and you get more points um, when you get a good look at a shot instead of a turnover. So I think that's a very important and underrated part of the game. KK, so how did it feel yesterday, your first NCAA tournament game? How did it feel for you? Um, it felt really good. Of course, there's some ups and downs, but overall we had great team ball and just great things on defense that carried over into offense and just very proud and, like I said, very excited uh, to get that first game over and get it rolling. I know this is a really quick turnaround, but you obviously have Syracuse up next. How have you been preparing for them? What have you heard about this team to get things going? Of course, um, they have a tough guard, um, so keeping her, just containing her, and just all around just playing our game and not really letting too much of that uh, affect us on our game side. But just basically our same game, game tactics, uh, worry about defense, pushing it, and getting our offensive game going. But like I said, they have tough guards uh, to guard play and, uh, you know, rebounders and very tough team, and they won't back down. So. You faced some other really tough guards throughout the season in non-conference play. What have you learned from some of those experiences that you think will help you against Syracuse? Um, definitely just speed and quickness that um, the other guards use on me. Uh, try to you know utilize my speed and quickness, but also be smart on defense when it comes to you know speed, speed uh, like faster guards um, in terms of you know not trying to read the next play and what they do because it's unpredictable sometimes. So just staying grounded and staying disciplined.